Last week, I spoke very briefly to Toma Loredana from Romania, the world champion 2017, four-time European champion. And I just wanted to know, are you going to be at the world championships this year, this December? Her answer, yes. So we haven't seen Toma compete now since April 2021, 18 months ago. Not that I've been counting at all. Uh, because Romania has been unable to compete due to a nationwide ban from the sport of weightlifting. But that ban is now up, and so she's going to be returning to competition. So what kind of shape is she going to be in? Let's take a look. It is worth noting quickly that her progress has been relatively linear ever since 2017, particularly in the snatch. 2017, her best lifts, 109, 128. The following year, 110, 131. Then 112, 128, though she did attempt a personal record at 132. 113, 136 and then 114 kilos in 2021. So every single year she was able to add at least a kilo between 2017 and 2021. It's now been another year plus six months. So what kind of shape do we think she'll be in? What I wanna do is basically just go through some of her big lifts in training recently and talk about what we think she might do. It's worth remembering as well that all of those lifts were done as a 63 or 64 kilo lifter. She's now gonna be a 71 kilo lifter because that's the new weight category for the Olympic games. And so she's gonna have to, well, her lifts are gonna have to go up, but also the strength for competitors is going to have gone up too. Okay, so this is April 22nd, 2021. So right now, this is basically right at the same time that she competed last at the European Championships. She was a 64 kilo lifter there. She out-totaled the category above by quite some way. A very strong win, 114 snatch. That was a personal best for her. And then of course, since then, she's only gone on to improve as she's continued to train hard. She missed out on the Olympics, of course, uh, and then she missed out on the World Championships. She missed out on the European Championships last year. 115 kilos. That's a brilliant lift. I don't remember ever seeing that. So that 115 is more than she's ever hit in competition. And it's the, the 64 kilo world record, I think is, I think it was one, uh, 116 from Dungwei, let's just check that. Oh, it's 117, of course she extended it after she hit the 116 at the World Championships in 2019. So it's 117, that 115 is enormous. She did that July 28th, I think that was the same day as the Olympic Games. And I think that was a bit of a statement that she made saying, if I were there, but she wasn't there. Uh, But that's a big lift. One sixteen for the power clean, plus push press. Very strong in the upper body. The difficult thing with Toma is she's going to be. I, I think looking at the athletes who are going to be coming down from seventy six, potentially Zhang Wang Li from China. I don't know if she's going to be doing that. And then you've got other athletes like Kate Nye and sorry Kate Viber and uh, Olivia Reeves. But Toma is going to have the biggest snatch from the bunch. I, I personally think, and we're going to look into this more, I personally think she's going to be able to push up towards the 120 mark over the course of this quad. Um, certainly she's going to be in the hunt for a world record. Right now the world standard sits at 117 kilos, so she'd need 118 to set her first ever international world record, first ever world record. I think she's going to be out in the lead in the snatch. In the clean and jerk, I'm not so sure. 136 was her best. She has competed semi-recently. We're going to look at that soon. Uh, and her clean and jerk is still the thing that's going to hold her back. But she's been working a lot on her leg strength. So here we have, this was July of last year. This is 170 kilos for a double. We can kind of watch as her lifts have progressed. I mean, that is so smooth. If you were doing doubles on weightlifting AR, you'd probably give that 4 RIR, 3 RIR. You'd probably get given another set uh, if it looked like that, unless you were on a sort of a speed focus day. That's 100 kilos, might be 105 if there's collars in there. Okay, here we are, clean jerk. This is actually what I'm really interested in seeing. So this is 135 kilos, a kilo under her best. This is just over a year old now. And see that actually looks really good. She's got an interesting jerk. Everyone knows it as the uh, the Toma shuffle, the back foot uh, lands and the front foot hasn't even moved. So if her feet are here, back foot moves and then the front goes really kind of interesting style of lifting that that's promising especially because we know that she's gained weight some heavy deadlifts how much do we think that is she said what do we think 
It's a 25, then it looks like another 25, and a 10. 140, then a 20. 180, so 200. Well, that's a women's bar, 195. That's what I think that is. I mean, her core is ridiculous. I mean, it is ridiculous. Like, she is so unbelievably ripped. That is impressive. Doing a pull-up whilst holding that L-sit position just makes things so much more difficult. You've got... Not only have you not got the kind of ability to lift your knees up slightly, that little bit of a kip to help actually kind of works against you because as you start pulling, your legs end up going the wrong way. Okay, 110 for a double now. I mean, this is just getting ridiculous. I, I would be surprised, honestly. I mean, if she's doing doubles at 110, that's a kind of used to be a little bit of a trope in weightlifting. If you can double it, that's what you should be opening at. A lot of people like to open heavier than what they can double. Um, I guess that was probably right around where I would open at. Something that I could just about double for a PR. But 110 double, you'd imagine she's going to be opening around that kind of number when she does get into competition. Okay, here's some more leg strength work. This, so we saw that 170 double. This is now 180 for a triple. And that's also moving pretty fast. She's squatting on a men's bar here just to minimize the whip. I love how she also just coordinates all her outfits. She's either like head to toe purple or now she's head to toe red. So 180 for a triple, that's very strong in the back squat. Um, in fact, it's not going to be the clean. I think she could probably, I'd love to see in a 1RM clean competition. I'm sure she could clean 145. I'm sure she could probably get under, maybe not 150. I bet she could be close to getting under 150. Uh, she, and she'd probably get up with that, actually. Uh, it's the jerk that's, that's obviously the limiter. Let's keep looking at some of these bigger lifts. 115 again. Okay, so she's done it another time. So it's, it's certainly not... Uh, <laughs> attitude with it is great she's certainly not hitting this as like a one-off type of thing this looks like it's a somewhat consistent heavy snatch day type of number and then she's up in the squats this is 190 kilos so another 10 up on what we've just seen relatively slow eccentric and she holds position so nicely when she comes up out of the hole knees continue tracking back hips continue uh moving forward once i hit that sort of parallel mark i mean she is absurdly strong she actually i was talking to some of the team here because they've never what was that 71 yeah um yeah the team here have never filmed her because she's not been at competition for a while and the last time i filmed her was in paris and not paris rome in 2020 and i was just trying to describe what it's like filming tomba and i said that it's kind of like when you film team china and you realize that there are levels to weightlifting like you see the best athletes in your country and that's amazing when you first see them then you go to a European championships and you see international lifters and that's great. And then you see the best international lifters at that championships. Then you go to a Worlds and there's sort of five or six lifters that everybody there knows are on another kind of level to everyone else. They're the sort of historic level lifters, the ones who will be remembered for another 10 years. And when you film Toma, you kind of feel like that. Like she's so, just like physically, she just looks different from other athletes. She's incredibly, she's incredibly strong. Uh, so this is 160 kilos in the front squat. So she went from below my best to above my best in the front squat in about three seconds there, which is very devastating to see. And there's 171, which she can't quite get. But clearly she's been putting in a lot of time in her legs because she's going to know at this point, like there are too many Chinese lifters potentially waiting in the wings who are going to be able to clean and jerk over 140. What was that, 120? That's big. That's really big. Um... You know, Kate Vibert can go over 140. Um, why do I keep forgetting her name? I guess it's because she's not been in the sport for very long. The amazingly strong teenager from the US. You know who I'm talking about. She can go over 140. Tomi has never yet done it. She's going to have a big lead, you know, going into it, but she's never yet done it. Here's 125. That looks nice and easy as well. That's good. Back foot lands and the front foot moves. Here's 114 again. This is the weight that she has hit in competition. I mean, you can tell how much she's improved because the 114 that she hit at the European Championships in April, this is then February, 10 months later. She makes the same weight look tremendously light. Eight front view angle, might delete later. She also is a queen of captions. Uh, I don't know exactly what that is, but it's probably 105, 15, 25, five. Okay, so here we go. Then she came out to competition. This was um, in, 
I can't remember where it was. Oh, it was in Lux- Luxembourg, that's it. It was at the Women's Grand Prix in Luxembourg. So 115 kilos. She weighed 67 kilos here. Um, so we know that she's going to be coming out as a 71 at the World Championships. This now at 67. And that... So she's got a lot of weight to gain still. Uh, and you know there's a difference between hitting it in training with your own music on, warming up at your own speed, although she would have known how, exactly how long to warm up because she'd have been the last lifter to open, of course. Uh, but there are so many variables that make lifting and training oftentimes a little bit easier. Not for everyone, but for a lot of people. But she's still hitting that 115. She's got a little bit of weight that she can still gain, so that is particularly exciting. Dips here. Just body weight, upper body stuff. Uh, where did the clean and jerk go? Okay, so here's the 135. Shout out to ATG for capturing this. I don't know if anyone else filmed this lift. So if we didn't have Gregor at this competition, we wouldn't even be able to see what she did here. So that 135 is sort of... To me, it was not the most... I feel like she knows she needs to push the clean and jerk. Her squats are up massively. That wasn't the most convincing 135 I've ever seen. I mean, the clean is incredibly light, uh, but you've got to bear in mind, like, there are athletes in this category who are going to be able to push into the high 50s, sorry, high 40s. We might even see into the mid 50s by the end of this, uh, this Olympic quad. I mean, I think we probably will. We've already seen a 152. So now that it's an Olympic category, I would have thought, you know, it's going to go up a fair bit. 152, that is ridiculous, Shang Wang Lei. Uh, so we're starting to get a little bit closer. There's 114. That's brilliant stuff. Again, I think 110 is going to be right around the kind of weight that we're looking at for an opener there from her. That's 110 as well. I mean, tell me that's not a an opener. That's an opener. Oh, also, the new weightlifting house leather belt is coming out soon. That's why I've got that here. Um, it's, it is an all-round nicer belt than the sort of the 1.0. Where, I mean, you can wait for this. And it is phenomenal. Or you can pick up one of the old ones. They aren't as nice. Now that we've improved and we've got this one, we know that this is a better belt. But the other ones are 40% off. So it's a really cheap way to get a weightlifting house belt. This one has just got new details. It's got the WH in white with the home of weightlifters. Uh, it's got the blue suede on the inside. It's also got on the white thingies, whatever you call them. It's got home of weightlifters on there which is sorry it's got weightlifting house on there which is very cool um so stay tuned probably next week these will be out which is very exciting okay so one 70 90 120 for a snatch push press plus overhead squat that is tough to do solid lifting and i think we're pretty much getting close to we're getting close now to, to now. So this is 170 by four. Okay, so a year prior to this, we saw her do that 170 double. That first rep arguably looked a little bit closer. I said in that video that that was probably an RIR four. So let's see if she does another two here. It should look like she has another two in the tank. I'm not sure it's going to. <laughs> Live deep, love deep, squat deep. Nice caption. 100, just, I mean, getting to the point now where she's so comfortable with it, she can do it from almost any position. That was a POW snatch, not a power, not a full. Definitely didn't catch that as deep as she normally does, so she has to get credit for that. Just so much upper body strength. See, I do a lot of upright rows, but I have never done them with that close a grip. Might have to do a bit of that. 100 again. About two months to be better, be proud, but never satisfied. Okay, so that was her alluding to the World Championships. I've had that confirmation from her now that she'll be there. 100 just looking incredibly easy. So my opinion is that she's probably really sort of furious that she missed out on the Olympic Games. She's probably livid that she missed out on the World Championships last year because of her country's ban. Uh, and so she's probably putting in an extreme amount of work to make this World Championships a competition to remind the other athletes that she's the best 71. She's a 71 who's going to go and win in Paris. That's the messaging she's going to want to try and give across, of course. Whether or not she does that, I don't know. I think right now she's she's the person that you would pick for it, particularly if she can push that clean and jerk with the added body weight up into the low 40s. You couple that with, you know, a one a 119 snatch. 
Hopefully that's enough. However, it depends what China does. China's only going to be able to send three women, three men. So it depends what they do. Do they send Hu Jihui in the 49s? Do they then send Li Wen Wen? And then they pick a third who they know is going to win, who may not be a 71. Potentially, if they do that, I think Loredan is going to be pretty safe. But we just don't know. So the 2017 world champion, the four-time European champion, is returning to competition uh, at the World Championships in Bogota this December. So stay tuned for that. We're incredibly excited for this competition. It's going to be huge. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. Um, make sure you like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.